special guest this week. So want to talk to her because when I was scouring her website, I was looking at all these pictures and everything else, and there was a picture of her and Julie Andrews. So I thought I've got to ask about Julie Andrews because I met Julie Andrews once too, mm. which was all very exciting. And and her favourite record is the Fifth Dimension's Aquarius. I thought. But that was my favourite record as well. How bizarre is this? (laughs) Believe it or not now, the lovely Belinda Carlisle has the box set of the CD singles, which is running 86 up to 2014. Hello. I know. (laughs) Can you believe it? They said there's 130 cuts. There are 28 CDs. 28 CDs. Yes. It covers every single hit that I've ever had. Yes. Which is um, pretty, pretty massive. It's enormous. Yeah. Seriously, it's enormous. I mean, I was, I was looking at it thinking, Belinda Carlyle, wow, I'd forgotten how much stuff you'd recorded. Me too. <laughs> well, we're going back to 86, so you were a very young girl then yeah. when you were recording. And it's also put in some of the B-sides as well, Yeah. which I, which I quite like. Did you know what that they were going to be doing this? Did they yeah, talk about this ages Yeah, I do know that they ago? were going to... I, well, you know, it's funny because a lot of these titles came back to me and I forgot... I forgot, you know. I mean, I just did, yeah. And uh, I know that there's every all the it's it's for real collectors that are real, you know, real fans. Mm. Uh, and they were all jumping up and down, and there's like a whole thing going on my Twitter feed about, well, where is uh, the theme from Mannequin? And it's like, I kind of vaguely remember that song, and I don't really care for it, but. Um, the real fans love that kind of stuff. Yes. So, you know, they got it. They got what they asked for. And so you should have asked for it. You should have asked for it a long time ago. Because we only had the, the collection out a while ago, didn't right. we? Not, not too right. long ago. Right. Which um, was remastered. Um, all my, my albums remastered. And also, there was a lot of extra interviews. Um, it was pretty comprehensive and not just my recordings, but what I was doing through those years, too. Yeah. Which, you know, it's, pretty amazing. It's, 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 been a, it's been a life, hasn't it? Quite a life. It and, that before, quite... and before that, of course, I had the Go-Go's. So yes, yes. I have had two careers. And she has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame as the Go-Go's. Mm-hmm. Tell me about Julie Andrews. I did a TV show about, oh, it must have been about three or four years ago. And um, she, I mean... You know, Julie Andrews. I mean, yeah, exactly. So I just, I was in complete on, on that same show actually was William Shatner too, who I was, um, you know, the two of them. But she was really, really sweet. Um, She's, uh, yeah, I mean, I was just in awe. What can I say? I don't think I remember anything about meeting her except that I got to sit next to her and take some pictures. I, exactly the same for me. I'd yeah. swatted up on everything. I knew that she'd first started singing over the road from here at the Hippodrome as a little girl when they would call out in the audience and they'd go, any little girl like to sing a song? And she was a plant and she'd put her hand up and she would sing. I've got video footage of her singing wow. at 14 at a Royal Command performance for the King and Queen. Wow. She was, you know, a big, big star. And then they brought out or they remastered, I think, The Sound of Music. Mm. So we get flown out to Los Angeles to meet her. Well, of course, I mean, if you've grown up with it's like you. If people grow up with you, you tend to forget, don't you, that these people know everything about you. And so yeah, I yeah. knew everything about her. But I can't tell you one bit of that interview that I did with her because I sat there staring going, Just, I'm sitting here it's at Julie, Julie Andrews. Andrews. It's exactly. Julie Andrews. You cannot take your eyes off her. And I went to see her in a show in New York called Putting It Together. Mm-hmm. And again, you watch her on stage. You couldn't take your eyes off her because she'd been in the business a long while. She'd put in the mileage and, and she'd made it. And then, of course, she, she went topless in a film. Slightly, oh, yeah. I was slightly disturbed by that. <laughs> <laughs> was it Victor Victoria? No, SOB. SOB, which was, I forgot about that. Yes. I, lo- I love that film. And Blake Edwards was, you know, genius. Absolutely. But it, it was just the fact that you're meeting what I think is Hollywood, whereas your musical royalty, she was movie oh, royalty. Oh, my God, yeah. And, it was, and you, yeah. you're right, you can't think of it, you don't know what to say no. to her. I had so many questions in my head, and she was very gracious. She looked immaculate. And all I kept thinking was, it's Julie Andrews. But you get this. You get this with, with your fans. Who, so as I say, they know everything about you. They know every single single. They know yeah. they know your life because you're documented. Yeah. If I put you in on Google, I get thousands yeah, of Yeah, there's a ton of stuff. Well, I've been doing this since I was 17 years old. And yeah. I'm fi- I just turned 57. So that's 40 years of singing. Slog. <laughs> Slogging. Slog. Which, which, which is the best bit for you, Belinda? Is it the... 
is it the touring is it the is mm. it the meeting the people and singing the songs or is it going into the recording studio i don't know um i love playing live i don't like the traveling with it i mean i can't i can't tour like i used to and i don't want to because mm. it's a lot of work um but just when I get tired of that, I get to go into the studio. I just I actually just finished an album which is coming out next year. So um, it's all, I mean, just when you get sick of one, you get to do the other. So it's, yeah. it's, um, it's an amazing uh, occupation. And, and it is an occupation, you know. And you see it as a, do you see it as I a s- job? I see it as a really amazing job. Right. Yes. I mean, I, you know, I mean, I, it's my livelihood. Um, so it is, but um, I, I, it's I, it's a it's a it's an amazing job to be it able is. to sing for people and to bring joy to people. Yeah. And they yeah. pay you, and they pay you they, too. They give you yes. money. I, I mean, I also think exactly the same. That if, if you're in a job that you like doing, I think that's evidence uh, evident in the body of work that you do, because right. otherwise you wouldn't do it. I see so many no. people who go into the business. I think they're going in for the wrong reason. Oh, totally. And and I, I get slightly frustrated because I think. You're a singer. The whole idea of you going out is you want to sing to yeah. these people. That's that's what it is. Yeah. Well, now I'm at the point in my life where I've had this amazing body of work, you know, which is documented in this collection and by the previous releases, um, is that I can work from the heart now. And I don't have to, you know, work and be under the pressure of having to come up with the next single or the, the next this or that and worrying about chart positions. I never want to work like that again. And after I did my French album in 2007, I just thought this is the way that I'm ha- going to work from now on. If no one hears it, that's fine. I like it. <laughs> I like it. I and like that's it. all that counts. <laughs> <laughs> but Shula Clark did an all French album as well. Yeah, I did. She, and you did exactly the same. Mm-hmm. Do you, you divided your time though, don't you, between France and India? But I Well, I was in India for a while. Yeah. Um, France... And um, for the most part, France and L.A., but I was in Indi- India for a while, too. How did you find India? I love it. I mean, I crave it. You know, I, I, I honestly, when I'm not there, I crave it. Um, I was just there for two months um, in March where I have an animal charity in Calcutta oh. that I was raising money and awareness for. And so I did a rickshaw ride and I drove the rickshaw from Chandigarh to Udaipur, which was 750 miles. You pulled the rickshaw? Oh, I didn't. It, I had to learn how to ride a motorcycle. I had to get a motorcycle's right. license, then an international license, and and oh, uh, yeah, I did it. I d- drove it myself. I oh. didn't pull it, but <laughs> I in drove my it. day, they pulled the rickshaws. <laughs> they would get in there. I used to love the rickshaws. I used to have a little toy car that was a rickshaw years ago, and if it banged into the wall. It turned itself around and headed that's off so in the funny. other direction. Yeah, it was great. But it, but it is it is a place that's full of I think inspiration for for singers and for actors right. and actresses. I right. think people go there to find themselves. Well, it's definitely will give you what you need to. It'll teach you what you need to learn. And it, it's it's and I've been countless times and spent so much time there. And every time I go, I come back a di- tiny bit different. Yeah. What was the first thing that struck you? The first thing that struck me about it was the smells. Yeah. The smells were. Totally, from the moment we we flew in years and years ago to the airport, I remember thinking, "Gosh, what unusual smell!" It was everything was different. The trains are packed. <laughs> yeah, there's poverty. You see poverty like you've never seen before. Yeah. Well, life hits you in the face. There, we're, we're all we're coddled in our you know warm you know beds and behind a computer screen, you know, and and there you're just facing life on its terms, which is pretty hardcore. And the smell is a sewage, smoke, and incense, yes. which is a nice mix. It's, it's, quite, it's quite a paralyzing combination. <laughs> I know that smell. Um, <laughs> it's the first time I went. I thought I was horrified. I didn't like it at all, actually. And then they say it's like childbirth. When you do it, you never want to do it again. And a few years later, you crave it, which is exactly what happened to me. When, when they use your music in a film, does does that excite you? Yeah, I do. I mean, I, I get excited when I hear my songs on the radio still. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> I turn Why it not? up. I know, I know, I know. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 you know, it's, it, it's always exciting for me. I mean, it's, I still, I don't find it hard to believe that this is my occupation, but up until like 10 years ago, I was thinking, is this what I'm really supposed to be doing in life? I mean, honestly, oh. and then for the first 10 years of my career, I was like, well, I'll give it another six months and see what happens, you know? Let me but, give it another six months. Then. Yeah, but... Oh, you uh, doubted yourself. 
Um, I think I've had had lots of doubts as a singer. Yeah, right. I felt I always felt like an imposter. For years and years, I felt like an imposter. Oh wow! Who who, who were your idols as singers? Um, I think Patsy Cline, mm. um, Chrissy Hine, Debbie Harry. Um, yeah, I loved Chrissy Hine's phrasing. I think she was mm. my probably very favorite. Yeah. I, I, I see, I'm still amazed that Dolly Parton's still touring. Oh, God, she's amazing. I can't believe it. I watched her. I watched a, a DVD the other day, and she literally she flies in on an aircraft. She gets down the stairs. She gets into a car. Then they transfer into a bus. Then she gets on the bus. Then she gets changed, obviously, to do the hair. She steps off the bus. They give her a microphone. She goes straight on stage. How are you all doing? You think, wow. How do you do this at this age? How old is she now? She, well, she's, she's up She's a bit there. older than we are. Yeah. She's a bit older than we are. And yeah. she's still she's still singing those songs. And she brings in a lot more gospel than she uh, than she used to. And but she's authentic, which is like, absolutely. you know, which is like there's not a lot of authenticity out there anymore. No. Well, because it's all manufactured. Exactly. It's, it's a very plastic business. Yeah. Whereas in the in the early days when when you and I were in at sort of the beginning of things, it it was people who played and people who sang. Mm -hmm. There was no there was no thought of you know dummying something up. I know there were certain groups that we had in this country that didn't sing on their records for quite a while. I think the Bay City Rollers had three hit singles before they sang anything. The Monkeys. Yeah. Uh, they'd already written all the songs. Somebody had written them and recorded them. I oh, see. I didn't know about that about the monkeys. That's oh. that's amazing. Well, they're actually touring again, and there's only two of them now. Peter and Mickey. Peter and Mickey are touring because Michael doesn't doesn't the, want to. Well, I and think Davey his mother died. did. His mother invent liquid paper. She did. Left him very rich, and he brought out a country album. But I don't think he was that interested in no. it. He was. He just said, "No, I don't want to do the that." The intellectual kind of, thing. of the band, I think. It, but it, but it, it's fascinating that when they went in and went, "Oh, we've we got these these songs," they went, "No, it's already been done. We've already recorded the the tracks. Yeah. We just want you to stand there and sing mm -hmm. this bit." And they were horrified. They thought we were so manufactured that we didn't have any say. Yeah. You know, Neil Diamond wrote one of their biggest hit singles, and that's it. You know, if if you've got somebody saying this is what you do. You imagine that they must be so rich beyond that. Of course, they weren't. If you no. don't write things, you don't make any money, no, do you? it's true. You've got to work. Yeah. And with you, it's the hearing, the teeth. <laughs> My hips. The hips. <laughs> what else is going to drop off before the end I of the interview? I don't know. I know. I'm thinking, if this happened between age 55 and 57, what's going to happen between 57 and 60? <laughs> I have a friend who's a, who's, who just turned 60, and she's going, oh. <laughs> she was just complaining. <laughs> Yeah, you know, because it's this fantastic bond, and she goes, "Oh, but then the clothes come off. It's just awful. It's just awful." <laughs> this is what you have to look forward to. I was like, "Oh, great!" I think Joan Rivers used to do jokes about that. She, her, she used to say to her husband, "So, what do you think?" He said, "Well, take all your clothes off." She said, "And I was naked." And she said in front of him. <laughs> he said it looked like it needed ironing. You know? But there's more more pressure on women in your business. There's so much yeah. more pressure. Yeah. Men, there isn't as much oh, pressure. No, makes no no difference at all. But you're right. The older you get, you start thinking you have to do a restoration job i think it's important to do some freshening up every once in a while yeah. but you're doing the right thing your mind is healthy your body's healthy because you're putting the right food into it and you obviously do exercise yes i do i i i well i do a ton of yoga i'm you know pretty much every day um kundalini but but i mean i do hatha too now i can my, my hips are healed i can get back into that um i do a lot of cardio i do you know i mix and i mix it up i do a lot i i I'm very, very active, actually. Yeah. Yeah. You look very active. You look very fresh face. Thank you. You Thank look, you. You look really good. Even under this lighting? Even under this lighting. <laughs> Listen, believe you me, you've been in more studios <laughs> than, than I've had hot dinners. Uh, the box set is a, is a delight, not not just for the fans, but for people who want to right. discover it's your good. music. And it's it's such a... It's, it's beautifully it's, done. It's everything. It's beautifully done. The CD singles of Belinda Carlisle, 1986 to 2014, is out now. Thank you so much. Thank you. How many people are waiting to get on? Well, I can see at least one chap here. He works for you. He's, <laughs> he's star. That's in any, every industry. You'll have people who uh, want to go off on a tandem. Um, I cannot believe you've done it. I'm going...